Good evening. My name is Sarah Leeds, and my informative speech is about depression. My late wife of 28 years marriage died after six years of battling with cancer. I spent three sleepless nights prior to my wife passing and did not get a single night's rest for more than three months after her death. I had returned to my normal pursuit studying, piano playing, swimming lessons, and I couldn't focus. I spoke to my piano teacher after missing a few classes and was advised to give up everything for a while. Am I depressed? What is depression? According to Dr. William R. Bainsley, Chairman of the Department of Psychiatry at Boston Children's Hospital, in his book, Out of the Darkened Room, on page 27, he said, because the signs of depression start as extensions of normal feelings, despair, guilt, and hopelessness, feelings many people experience in times of great adversity, there can be, at first, a confusing blur between normal emotional of evil and true depression. Because depression continues to be so misunderstood, there is a stigma that lingers. Those who suffer from depression are often victims of prejudice and discrimination. So even when they are aware of the illness, they may try to hide it. Sadly, some of the sufferers turn such prejudice against themselves, believing they are to blame for their own illness. For these reasons, depression often goes unrecognized or unacknowledged. However, even when it is suspected, most people, either those who are suffering or their families do not know where to turn for help. Depression, as we see here, people suffer from a lack of information when it is not diagnosed. The family cannot help, right? If you seek and you get medical help from professionals, you can get diagnosed. Then, medical treatment and guidance for family as well. Families need to share the knowledge that depression is not having a bad day or feeling the normal pain of losing a job or a relationship. It is a diagnosis in which a set of conciliation of symptoms come together and is accompanied by an underlying biological disorder. The core symptoms are one, a persistent sadness manifested by feeling down and blue and crying almost every day, and or a persistent loss of pleasure in almost all activities. One of these must persist for two weeks or more to meet a formal diagnostic definition of depression. But they often last far longer and they often occur together. Beyond one, of both, one or both of these symptoms, depression is an associated set of changes in seven additional areas. These are one lack of loss of energy and fatigue, diminished appetite or increased appetite accompanied by weight gain or weight loss of 10 or more pounds, changes in sleeping with either excessive sleeping or sleeplessness, often early morning weakening, periods of agitation or of being slowed down in speech and action, feeling of worthlessness, self-reproach or excessive guilt, indecisiveness and inability to make decisions, recurrent thoughts of death, suicide ideas, which is to be dead or an actual death. Depression is now the leading cause of ill health and disability in the world, according to the World Health Organization, following a huge spike in the number of people who report living with a condition. I have taken the test questionnaire online from Mental Health America, and based on the answers I gave in this test, this is the result. Moderately severe depression. I have begun taking steps for the treatment of this illness because all should treat it with the seriousness it is in. 